Uh, my name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. To all law enforcement entities, this is not an admission of guilt. I am speaking to my family now. Skyler, you are the love of my life. I hope you know that. Walter Jr., you're my big man. There are, there are going to be some things, things that you'll come to learn about me in the next few days. I just want you to know that no, no matter how it may look, I only had you in my heart. But you know the business, and I know the chemistry. I'm thinking maybe you and I could partner up. Chemistry is the study of matter, but I prefer to see it as the study of change. That's all of life, right? I mean, it's just, it's the constant, it's the cycle, it's solution, this solution just over and over and over. It is growth, then decay, then transformation. It is fascinating, really. Lung cancer, inoperable. Best case scenario with chemo, I'll live maybe another couple of years. I have spent my whole life scared frightened of things that could happen, might happen, might not happen. Fifty years I spent like that, finding myself awake at three in the morning. Do you know what? Ever since my diagnosis, I sleep just fine. I came to realize it's that fear that's the worst of it. That's the real enemy. Drug dealer. Well, we keep hearing a name, Heisenberg. Who are you talking to right now? Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? I mean, even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. A business big enough that it could be listed on the NASDAQ goes belly up. Disappears. It ceases to exist without me. No, you clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. I will not have my children living in a house where dealing drugs and hurting people and killing people is shrugged off as shit happens. I have lived under the threat of death for a year now. And because of that, I've made your choices. I alone should suffer the consequences of those choices. No one else. And those consequences, they're coming. I won. I swear to God, Marie, I think the universe is trying to tell me something, and I'm finally ready to listen.